At the beginning of the mystery recapped, a story is told about a dragon, where a girl is born every 500 years. When the girl reaches the age of 20, then she will be awarded with divine power. He can also turn a snake into a giant dragon through it. The godly serpent will use this power to protect the universe and humanity. But the evil serpent will use this power to destroy this world. Now that time has come after 500 years. Afterwards, it can be seen that there has been great destruction in the city. It looked like a spaceship had crashed here. Many reporters and police arrived there as well. Then a man is seen who spoke of a prophecy that turns out to be true. A boy named Ethan who was also a reporter is then shown. It's recording a clip from that location. But while filming, he feels that he has already seen the mark that is in this place. But it is not in his memory where he witnessed it. Afterwards, Ethan moves to his office. He also noticed the same brand there. And he thought about this. Then he glances at his locket. It was given to him five years ago by a man named Jack when Ethan was a baby. Now who was Jack? We will know about him later. Now Ethan thought this story had that type of connection to this story. What Jack said to Ethan 15 years ago. The story then shifts to a flashback 15 years ago. When Ethan was little, he went to the store with his father. And the owner of that shop was the same man named Jack. As Ethan explores the store, suddenly, a box opens in front of Ethan. And light comes out of that box. Ethan also notices the mark in that field which was similar to the mark he had recently witnessed. So Ethan thought he had seen this mark before too. Then the shop owner Jack reacts as such, because he's having a heart attack. When he does, he sends Ethan's father outside, because he wanted to talk to Ethan about the important topic of loneliness. Jack says Ethan the light you witnessed. It belongs to a legendary creature, and it radiated from heaven. Then Ethan asks Jack who Amugi is. Then Jack tells him that Amugi is a legendary creature. About what? It was told in the ancient stories of Korea, which turns into a giant dragon after gaining power. Many snakes named Amugis were found in the sky, who lived with their great groups in heaven. Every good Amugi was rewarded for his good deed after every 500 years. That snake was given the opportunity to transform into a giant dragon. But Amugi had to gain heavenly power before that, because he could turn from a snake into a giant dragon with this power. Among the good snakes was an evil snake. His name was Buraki and he also expected to gain this heavenly power. Buraki's army was also very strong with him, and they could also gain heavenly power. But no one in heaven wished that the evil snake Buraki could gain this power, and that was the reason why the heavenly power was hidden. Then the scene shifts to Korea, where the time 1507 is displayed where heavenly power is brought down into the house, and it is the house of the head of that village. Afterwards, a daughter is born to this leader, who had that heavenly power. As a result, this little girl also had a red dragon mark on her shoulder, but his father or leader did not know about this power, where a bold warrior and master is sent with the leader's daughter, so that she can protect this heavenly power from that evil snake Biraki. But Biraki knew about it. Where did the heavenly power hide after all? Then this master meets the village leader, and he will say to him, Your daughter has heavenly powers. After that, that leader's daughter and that warrior show up. Now the daughter of the warrior and the leader began to develop a mutual affection. Then this master accompanies this warrior to meet the good Amugi, where the master hands that warrior a locket, which was for the safety of the good Amugi that was created in heaven. Now this master says to this warrior here, After a few days, the leader's daughter turns 20. Then Biraki comes with his army to get powers. You'll have to be prepared for that. Now that day has come, when the leader's daughter reached the age of 20, where Biraki attacks a village with his group. He is also searching for the leader's daughter's daughter, when he takes the leader's daughter with him. Then this master and warrior attacks Biraki and his group. Afterwards, this warrior escapes and marries the leader's daughter, where the master himself fights the Biraki soldiers. Now the warrior leaves, takes the leader's daughter and leaves the medallion there. After doing so, this warrior violated the rules and regulations of heaven. After that, Biraki also chases them. But both as the leader's daughter and that warrior commit suicide by jumping off the mountain. Later, Jack is seen giving the same locket to Ethan, given to his warrior 500 years ago by his master. Because Ethan is the warrior he belonged to 500 years ago, and Jack is the master. Jack tells little Ethan, at this time the heavenly power descends upon the girl. Her name will be Sarah and there will be a red dragon mark on her shoulder as the leader's daughter. Then Jack instructs Ethan, you will have to look for Sarah. Then the scene moves to the current time, where Ethan asks his friend to get information about Sarah. Then a girl named Sarah is seen in the gym. Then Sarah watches footage on TV created by Ethan, 
and she leaves that place and witnesses the same sign on earth. Then Sarah's friend who was going to her house comes on the scene. Sarah's friend notices this and goes to her house. That Sarah put mysterious posters on the walls of her house. A Korean declaration was written on it. Sarah was also depressed at this point, and she was confused too. Her friend Sarah takes her to a club to calm her down. Sometimes Sarah leaves the place too, where some gangsters try to disturb her on the way. Where the old man rescues Sarah and comes there. And the old man was none other than Jack. Later, the zookeeper is shown who is sleeping. Then he hears the growling of elephants. He glimpses as he goes to check, where a giant snake ate an elephant. It was none other than Biraki who returned with everyone after 500 years, so that he can gain heavenly powers. Afterwards, Sarah is seen at the police station, where the police suspected that Sarah had put an end to the gangsters. But Sarah tells them about the old man who saved her. But the police do not believe Sarah. Then a reporter comes there to interview Sarah. Afterwards, Ethan meets Jack. But there was no Jack, but a cruel general. When Ethan asks him about Jack, then he says that Jack went out on an important errand. Suddenly, all the things of the place start flying in the air. Then Ethan is suddenly awakened. From that he understood. It was his dream that he was witnessing right now. Afterwards, Ethan comes to his friend to find out about Sarah. Then Ethan's reporter friend approaches, who went to interview Sarah at the police station. And he starts talking about Sarah coming here. Then Ethan begins to doubt his conversation that he is the same Sarah, who is wanted. Then Sarah dreams, where he checks that he is being attacked by a cruel general. At the same time, Sarah is awakened. Now his dragon side is starting to hurt. Then Sarah calls an ambulance. Then Sarah is admitted to the hospital. Sarah's friend also comes to see her at the hospital. But Sarah is not allowed to meet them. Then her two friends visit her house to take her important commodities. But Biraki and the evil general kill them and come there. Later, Ethan learns about this incident. But Ethan thought Sarah had died. When he goes there, he knows Sarah's friends have been killed. Sarah is admitted to the hospital. Then Ethan goes to the same hospital to meet her. But he is also not allowed to meet Sarah. There Ethan meets a doctor who was a friend of Ethan. So the doctor allows him to meet Sarah. Sarah she tells him when she meets Sarah. Bad events will happen in the future. Then Ethan finishes his statement. Evil has begun. It is then seen that Buraki came to the hospital in search of Sarah. When Ethan's doctor friend arrives, he helps him and Sarah escape. Then it is known here that the doctor was none other than Jack. On the way here they are attacked by Buraki. And they get caught by an evil general too. But a lady helps them when they arrive. Here again it is shown that the lady was not another person but Jack. Whoever approached there to help them disguised as a lady. On the other hand, the evil general is gathering his army. Then Sarah and Ethan enter the scene. Who shared their secrets with each other. Several agents will then show up where their head asks one of the agents about accidents in the city, where one of the agents tells his head an old story. But their heads don't believe these stories. Later they get all the details about Sarah, because they thought that Sarah is behind all the incident that is happening. Afterwards, many soldiers are seen going to attack Biraki, but he Biraki kills everyone there. Afterwards, he takes Sarah to a hypnotherapist, to know about the dreams of Sarah, where Sarah at the very beginning dreams of her father who is no more. Then Sarah glimpses into the past 500 years ago. Thanks to this, he can remember absolutely everything. At the same time, Buraki reaches there. Then Ethan leaves with Sarah. Buraki still chases them, but they remain able to escape. Afterwards, Ethan asks his friend to secure the helicopter after the call. They then meet at a restaurant Ethan meets Jack in her restroom. Jack reminds Ethan of the incident, when he broke the rules and decrees of heaven. Jack tells him, at this point you will have to complete your task. It is then seen that Buraki reaches this restaurant. But the entire police force attacks Buraki before he can attack them. Later, Ethan moves to the helicopter and takes Sarah. As the helicopter is about to fly, Buraki pulls it down. Then Sarah and Ethan immediately jump out of the helicopter. Later, Buraki is attacked by a helicopter. Then Sarah and Ethan leave the place and get a chance. On the other hand, the evil general sends his soldiers to find Sarah. After that, all the dragons and beasts start to devastate the entire city, where many dragons attack Ethan and Sarah's van and come there. Because of this, their car is in a fatal accident. Then these dragons take them with them and appear there, where they were tying up Ethan and taking Sarah to the sacrifice. At the same time, it is also called Biraki. Ethan shouts out loud here, so his ropes are untied due to the power of his locket. This will turn all the dragons and soldiers into dust, and they are lost. As a result, Biraki also loses consciousness. Afterwards, Ethan goes to save Sarah, but the evil general attacks them and comes there. But this evil general also meets his end because of the power of Ethan's locket. Then Bruaki drops Ethan down and approaches there, 
and starts attacking Sarah. Then Imugi will also reach there and starts fighting with Biraki. But Biraki beats Imugi here. Then Sarah bestows her celestial power on Imugi. In this way Sarah is eliminated. Because Imugi has attained the power of heaven, Biraki is kidnapped to rage, and he attacks Imugi. But Imugi turns into a giant dragon after gaining power. Then a big fight breaks out between them, where Imugi kills Biraki at the end. After that, Sarah is seen to have finished as well. Imogi's celestial powers and Sarah are joined here. Sarah gives her words to Ethan before she leaves, that we will be united again. Afterwards, Imogi returns to the sky after taking possession of the celestial powers. Jack says to Ethan, we are lucky to have been chosen for this mission. Speaking of which, Jack is also sent flying into the air after turning to dust. Ethan says goodbye to Ethan here. And on this scene the film ends.